uh, in the last week or so, we've been going over stabilized nitrogen sources. And for the most part, we found that they contain, uh, m- most of them will contain two products. A product that will reduce urease inhibit or uh, inhibit urease conversion and reduce volatilization, and another component that will, at least they claim, will uh, reduce nitrification. And for the most part, there's literature in there that will support those two functions. I'm not going to necessarily argue that. However, when we look at the turf grass response, longevity, color, all these things, we just don't see a lot there. We saw many, many papers. The the cost paper, Dr. Christensen's paper, saw urea respond for many, many, many weeks. And the difference between stabilized nitrogen sources and urea nitrogen sources in terms of the turf grass response is minimal. If anything, rarely do you see any difference in the actual turf grass response, whether it's color or longevity. And there's been many papers. You can go back and look. There's, I don't know how many papers we've gone over so far, six, seven, eight papers. And at least two or three of them in there showed a urea, uh, they showed the turf grass response to nitrogen being the same from urea and from stabilized nitrogen sources. Uh, but we haven't really gone too much into the, the other component of denitrification being leaching. So in theory, if the MBPT or the nitrification inhibitor actually is performing as advertised, it will hold the nitrogen in the ammonium form longer and they claim will actually reduce leaching. So to conf- make sure that we're all on the same page and that I'm not just whistling Dixie, we're going to look at some claims right now. So this is a uh, the UMAX stabilized nitrogen flyer that you can go download on the internet. And in here, there's going to be a whole host of claims and we're just going to walk through them. Now that we've gone over the literature a little bit and we're somewhat familiar with what the evidence has is, is shown in the published literature since, what, 1970-something, it's been very consistent. It not, there's no single paper on which you should base all of your confidence. It's a process of building confidence through many publications, and we've shown many publications that essentially say the same thing. So let's get into this actual claim sheet marketing sheet. They do have a nice little diagram in here that I'm going to use to explain what their claim is. So I'll take that. But in here, if you're not familiar with nitrogen stabilized sources, I've, I've explained it. There's a urease inhibitor and there's a nitrification inhibitor that are intend, intended to slow down the conversion of urea and increase its efficient uptake and so forth. And in here, the very first sentence, it says, UMAX stabilized nitrogen fertilizer is a soluble granular, soluble gr- granular, should be soluble granule with a dual inhibitor technology that provides protection against all three forms of nitrogen loss, leaching, denitrification, and volatilization. Now we have covered volatilization and clearly shown that it will reduce volatilization. As I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the environmental consequences and the environmental risk aside for right now. I'm gonna be talking about the pragmatic approach, the turf grass response approach, what we really care about as turf managers Although keep in mind the environmental aspect is important to consider. We don't want to just be throwing stuff out and neglecting that. But there is that value. But for right now, I'm going to set that aside for the remainder of the day, really, until we get well, until we get to leaching. So when it comes to volatilization, it will reduce volatilization. I don't care. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. It it what matters to me is what will that product do to the turf grass? that will give me a return on the investment. Okay, that's claim number one. It says it will reduce or provide protection against denitrification. Now we've shown many publications, at least three, and a little secret here, today's gonna be number four, that will show that the denitrification function of the MBPT or the the other component in the urea stabilization, it's questionable at best. So the idea is it's going to hold it in the ammonium form longer. We've shown at least one paper, maybe two, that have shown sometimes it holds in the ammonium form longer. Sometimes urea holds it in the ammonium form longer. Most of the time, there's no difference. Okay. So although I'll give them the uh, the the check mark and the green check mark for volatilization, I don't consider the effect on denitrification to be consistent enough to rely upon. But even if it did, do I care? Should you care? Putting environmental consequences aside for right now, should you care? I don't. I care about the turf. What is it going to do to the turf? Okay. Now, the next loss is right here, which we have not looked at much, is the leaching component. They claim it will protect against leaching. 
So that's what we're going to go in today in doctor, with Dr. Gertal's paper. Uh, so it goes in and says, oh, explains it is a urease based product with 460 analysis containing both urease inhibitor MBPT and DCD and ex to extend the availability of nitrogen in the soil. A completely soluble granule Umax fertilizer is equally effective whether spread dry or dissolved in spray mix. Well, I'll agree with that. It's equally effective one way or the other. I mean, there's, there's I'm not going to, not going to argue that it is equally effective. There's, I mean, whether you put it out as a granule or you put it out as a liquid, I'll, I'll agree with that. So here we go on the next one. UMAX stabilized nitrogen fertilizer was specially formulated for the golf, golf market for versatility of applications in 12 weeks of dependable extended nitrogen availability. Okay, UMAX can reduce labor strain, so there's a claim. Avoid turf famine, that, there's a claim. And efficiently sustain turf health leading to reduced weeds, that's a claim, and disease pressure. A lot of claims in there. A lot of claims, no evidence whatsoever, but I'll give them the 12 weeks. We got to remember, don't be fooled by these red herrings where they say, well, it'll extend the longevity and turf grass response for 12 weeks. Yeah, I know. I, I will show you data right now. You can go back and look. There's probably five papers that have shown that it will it'll result in turf grass response for 12 weeks. Don't be, don't be fooled by that because the same turf grass response for 12 weeks will occur from urea without the additive. Okay, very easy to get to get deceived if you don't have your critical thinking cap on. Okay, so over here on the um, over oh, hang on, let me make sure I'm okay. Everything looks okay. So over here on the right, the key benefits are just a summation of all these claims: dependable performance, performance consistent, reg consistent regardless of soil temperature or weather. I don't see any evidence to support that, but let's say it's true. I mean, you could say the same thing for, for the most part about urea. Dual mode uh, nitrogen protection technology, MBPT and DCD inhibitors. I mean, that's just the component. Okay, that's not a benefit. That's just what it is. Three forms of nitrogen protection. I'll give them volatilization. I'm, I'm not convinced entirely that you're going to consistently see anything from denitrification, and we have not gone over leaching yet. We're going to go over that tonight. But I'll just say that's not going to be very favorable. <laughs> okay. Up to, 12 weeks, up to 12 weeks of plant response, you're going to see that from urea usually anyway. Completely soluble granule, you're going to see that from urea anyway. Quick green up and sustained color, you're going to see that from urea anyway. Virtually eliminates end loss due to mower pickup, you're going to see that from urea anyway. Can be tank mixed, you're going to see that from urea anyway. <laughs> and environmentally responsible, um, I'll give them some, the benefit on that one. They're, like I said, if you're going to um, can include environmental benefit from reduced gaseous loss, then I'll give them some of that. There's probably enough there to support that claim. 